Well, Thursday night, high school football, three games on the schedule here in the borderland. We'll start in Las Cruces. The Mayfield Trojans, one win away from winning a district title. Standing in their way, though, the Deming Wildcats. Deming wasn't going to let Mayfield off easy, trailing 14 to 7, under a minute to play here. Third down for the Wildcats, and Tony Aguilar hits Fabian Reina for the game tying touchdown. Deming forces overtime. And here we go in the extra period. Mayfield with the ball first. Check out the concentration from Jose Montoya. Stays in bounds and on the sideline and is awarded the touchdown right here from the official. Yeah, he's in. So Mayfield up 21 to 14 and De Deming needs a touchdown to keep it alive on fourth down from, from the five yard line. Joey is stuffed at around the three yard line and the Trojans survive. Let the celebration begin. 21 to 14, the final in overtime. Tremendous effort from the Wildcats though, but Mayfield gets the district title in the end. Congratulations to the Trojans and head coach Michael Bradley. Well, meantime, we had a doubleheader over at the SAC. Game one was a District 15A Division I matchup between the Chapin Huskies and the Eldorado Aztecs. Now, Chapin's program has had a remarkable turnaround under second year head coach Ryan Warner. The skies were clear for takeoff today as Mason Statifer with the 63 yard strike to Zeke Pastran, beating the defender there. Welcome to end zone city. Now the route was on as Chapin was just rolling tonight, or oh, this afternoon, I should say. Stadifer to Anthony Rivera, 59 yards to the house right there. And Chapin cruises in this one. Final score, 48 to seven, Huskies with the dub. The nightcap. East Lake taking on Socorro. This is District 16A matchup. The Falcons know they're headed to the playoffs, but don't rest on the Bulldogs. They came to play early on. Socorro's Adrian Acosta with a big time hit for the sack, and Socorro feeling it. They haven't won a district game this season. You see quarterback Brian Leva to Isaiah Aguilar off the tip and catch, followed by the touchdown. Socorro up seven to nothing in the first quarter over East Lake. Falcons, though, they finally wake up. From one yard out here, handoff to Elijah Oribe for the touchdown. We're going to tie up the game at seven. Then we go to the second quarter. Falcons on the move. Sebastian Rendon looking, looking. He'll find Samuel Atilano and run, Samuel, run. Eastlake takes the lead at this point, 14 to seven. This game is still going on. It's currently in the fourth quarter. And it's all Falcons. They're currently up 43 to seven again in the fourth quarter.